I'm joined by Baltimore Ravens quarterback and Heisman Trophy winner Robert Griffin III. Thanks for helping us out today. Thank you for having me. All right, now you've thrown for over 9,000 yards in the NFL. You're pretty good at throwing a football. Can we see what that looks like? Oh, no problem. Right here we got Willie Sneed. He's got the best hair in the business. Awesome. Now, that throw looked pretty easy. Right. Why? Uh, it's, it's from point A to point B, so you kind of know where the guy is going to be at. Uh, it's predetermined, and I can just literally throw it right at him. Now, that's not what happens in a game, is it? No, normally that's not what happens. <laughs> normally the guys are moving and running around with defenders, so you kind of have to anticipate where they're going to be at. So you throw it to a point uh, as opposed to throwing it exactly where they're at. Can we see that? Yeah, we can. Ready? Oh. That was incredible. What's going through your mind when you make a throw like that? Well, it's really just about making sure I'm on the same timing with my receiver. Uh, if I'm trying to throw it on a route like that to where he's at, it'll be behind him. It'll be way past that point. So I have to anticipate where he's going to be at and where he's going to finish. So I throw it right to that point and he can run through. Awesome. So throwing a football to where the player is going to be is kind of like launching a rocket to the moon. When the Saturn V rocket launched from Earth, the moon was a long way from where it would be three days later. The moon travels over 2,000 miles per hour. The rocket had to launch toward a spot where the moon would be when the astronauts arrived. In order to do this, it involved a whole lot of math. Robert, there is one big difference between launching a rocket to the moon and playing football in the NFL. What's that? You don't have 300-pound guys trying to tackle a Saturn V rocket. That's very true. <laughs> 